two young girls play a traditional game called Tamari. From the eye man with the rolling sun. This one goes bounce. This one goes bounce. Goes bounce. Bounce bounce. Bounce be bounce be bounce be bounce. A stranger with child passes near. He sees something familiar. Something from his past. Father and son watch. Daigoro, my son, I have given it much thought. I have decided to defy the Shogun's command. I will not kill myself as the Shogun ordered. Instead, I shall escape. I shall escape to wreak vengeance against those who have slandered our family name. I will cast aside the office of executioner and become a lost soul traveling among demons. Listen well, Dagoro. From now on, your father follows the road of blood and death, of slaughter without mercy, the Assassin's Road. Becoming an assassin will enable me to avenge the Ogami name and crush the traitorous Yagyu clan. Daigoro. You must choose a road for yourself. Choose the Tamari and join your mother who awaits in heaven. Choose the sword and together we will walk the assassin's road. Degoro, I know you can't understand your father's words or what will come to pass. But within your body flows the blood of the Ogami clan, and your heart will decide. Look, Begoro, look.
Ito Ogami, official executioner for the Shogunate. Your behavior has become intolerable. Your attitude insulting. You are hereby relieved of all duties. Your family name is henceforth discontinued. You, together with your son, De Goro, are commanded to perform seppuku. The famous sword man, Ito Ogami, you greet us in the white clothes of death. Your resolution is admirable. <laughs> huh? We do not wear these clothes to commit Harry Carry. These are the ceremonial robes of a new departure. From this day forward, father and son tread the road to hell. What? You defy orders from the throne? How dare you! My son and I are no longer ordinary men. We have entered the gates of hell. The Shogun's orders are absurd. Have you gone mad? Call the guards! Guards! Ito Ogami resists the rest! This man defies the Shogun's command. Kill him! Cut him down! You think you can kill me? You and your puny men. You think you can kill the Shogun's executioner? Attack! Attack! What are you waiting for? Kill him! I... <laughs> Who here is next to death? Ito Ogami, die like a man. So, we had you become your opponents. Even with your knowledge of Suo fencing, you are no match for the swords of the Yagyu clan. So you think. to die. What? I have served this crest for 27 years as you have for sixty. All who live beneath this crest follow the same path. It's time I got some use out of it. Now get out of my way, old man. What? Uh, wait. Shed the crest. Shed it and we will challenge you to a duel. Win, and you are free to go anywhere you choose, so long as it is beyond the borders of Edo. And if I refuse? The assassins of the Yagyu clan will track you to the ends of the earth. We must stop this now. If we allow him to wear the Shogun's crest, this affair will never end. Master Yagyu, sir, you mustn't bend the Shogun's will. Don't interfere. The responsibility is mine. The dignity of the throne is at stake. We have no choice. What do you say? I accept.
<laughs> the duel is already decided. When skills are equal, the lay of the land, the advantage of nature, decides the victor. <laughs> Kurato has the sun on his back, while Ogami has his child on his. Degoro, we enter the portals of hell. Girl, now! This one goes bounce. This one goes bounce. Goes bounce.